Okay, right off your bounce back loan with no problems. Uh, my name is Chris Worden, UK director whose business has started to struggle and you've got a bounce back loan. If you enjoy our content, please like and subscribe to the channel and give us some comments in the section below. So I want to put this video out there because, you know, there's lots out on the internet and I've done lots of content around people who have misused bounce back loans and potential consequences. But I just want to give a bit of a story of comfort for the many, many, many millions of UK that maybe not many, many millions. There were 1.5 million bounce back loan applications made. And uh, the vast majority of them were from hardworking people, honest people, and they've not bounced back. The businesses have not bounced back. So I want a message of hope and comfort for those directors if the business hasn't bounced back and they are considering putting the business into liquidation. So let's just recap. You know, you took a bounce back loan. You had to self-certify what your turnover was in 2019. If you was incorporated after 2019, you could estimate your turnover. And you was allowed to apply for 25% of your turnover in 2019 up to £50,000. You was also asked to certify are you were an undertaking in difficulty when making the claim. And you was asked to confirm that you would spend the bounce back loan on the benefit of the business, uh, the economic benefit of the company that took it. So what was that? Salaries, bills, rent, stock, certain financial agreements, you know, the benefit of the business working capital. Now, if you did all that, And your business is now becoming solvent nearly three years down the line. In fact, well over three years down the line. And you have to place the business into liquidation. And let me just tell you what insolvent means. You can't afford to pay your debts when they fall due. You can't pay your HMRC. You can't pay your bounce back loan. You're struggling to pay suppliers. You're robbing to pay to pay Paul. It's a sign you're insolvent. Or your liabilities are more than your assets or someone has taken legal action against your company, you're insolvent. And if you put the business into liquidation, that bounce back loan gets written off with no problem. You have not signed a personal guarantee. The government will step in and pay the bank back once you're in liquidation. You have nothing to worry about. I hope you found the video useful. If you have any questions, if you want to talk to me, please reach out, Chris Word and 